Hello, this is Johnny Chaffin from Collins Manufacturing, and today we're going to discuss some general maintenance guidelines for your pumps. We're going to cover a couple of different kinds of pumps. They're all very similar, but this is just general maintenance. It's some of the things that we talk to people about every day. We never have made a video for it. So we'll start out with our standard 4500 pump. It's uh, very similarly made to the 5550 heavy duty. But you've got a chrome base, chrome body that can be cleaned with its general purpose cleaner. Uh, you can also come back, if you really want to clean it good, is use a paste type chrome polish, like an old timey bumper polish, whatever, like you'd use on your car. You can use that to clean, you know, give it a good wax job. If you're going to wax it, I recommend taking the rubber uh, band off the bottom because the wax, when you get it on the band, it won't come off and it'll leave white streaks. So if you want to go that far, make sure to do that. This also will get the white on it. So, real quick on seat castings, I'm, this is going to take a little side note here. On some of the older Collins chairs, we had an aluminum seat casting. Now, the aluminum seat castings, the difference between the aluminum and the steel would do, eventually cause it to sound like a creaking noise when people were getting in and out of the chair. If you have a chair that that problem happens. We have a video that shows you how to take the chair off the pump, watch that video, clean the inside of the seat casting, which this will be on the bottom of your seat, and clean this and apply a thin coat of Vaseline to it, and then that will make that problem go away. So that's a side issue. Now, for lubricating the pump, general... General purpose 3-in-1 oil is what we recommend. It's just a light oil. Please do not use WD-40. Please do not use clipper oil. They were both solvents. So this is just a light grade oil. If your significant other has a workshop and he's got an oil can with just light oil in it, that'll work too. But uh, this is a, a good oil. It's available almost everywhere. Now we're taking the screw off this cap and the roll pin out so we can remove this cap to look inside the pump. There's only one loop, two loop points in here, one major point. This is, this is what we call the yoke. It's what pushes down on your plunger when you're pumping your chair up. So this is a wear point and also where this uh, uh, cam or this fork is. Occasionally, if you start hearing a squeaky noise or if you run into some kind of an issue with your pump, you might slide your cap up. Again, you don't have to take it apart like we did. You can just hold the cap up. But apply a little bit of grease here and a little bit of grease here. That should help make that go away. This is the 3500 pump. It has a painted cylinder, so you really can't uh, wax it like you can the chrome ones, but you just a general purpose cleaner. This is a polished aluminum. It's, again, it's not chrome, but you can use the chrome polish on the five star part. Now, this cap here, I haven't taken it all the roll pin out. But again, you can see there's one loop point here. And then again, for the three in one oil, you would apply the three in one oil right here. You'll pump the chair up, apply your three in one oil, two or three drops, and let the chair down. Kind of rotate your chair as it's going down. That'll pull that oil down into this top bushing. That's where your noise is going to come from over a period of years. So real quick, we'll swap out to one of the imported bases. This is the G and the K base. They're slightly different on the inside than the other base. You see this is the adjustment point for the brake, this is the brake, and this is your yoke. Again, this would be your loop point inside if you were developing a problem. But if you just have noise when you're turning it or letting it down, then you would again just apply the three-in-one oil here at the top and let the chair back down. Uh, the uh, K-Base, the brake assembly is slightly different, but we have a video that talks about changing these cylinders out. And then in that video, you, we describe more in detail what the difference between the two pumps are. Again, this is a chrome uh, base. So it can be polished with the chrome polish. Again, I would remove the black ring because if you get the white on it, it won't ever come off. Other than that, that gives you a general rough idea of how to maintain your pump. Really not a lot required to it. Just if you have a problem or start hearing a noise, just do these steps first before you call us. And other than that, call us and we'll see what we can to help you. Again, I'm Johnny Chaffin.